Hey, it's Jonathan Heath from G4 Guitar Schools here in Blair Athol. Today we're going to be having a chat about guitar amps and what to look for when you're choosing a guitar amp or a new amp. So choosing a guitar amp is a really exciting time for any guitarist because we get to, uh, yeah, check out our tone, really have a, uh, have a think about what sort of tone we want in a guitar amp and what we're looking for. So um, the main thing is uh, to think about whether you want to go solid state or valve amp. And they're the two different types of guitar amps there are. So a solid state amp uses all solid, solid electronics um, in, in the amp itself, whereas a valve has uh, big solid vacuum valves in the back of the amp that powers the amp. So a solid state amp gives off a nice uh, bright tone so uh, yeah it's it's clean it's crisp and it produces a, a good sound um, another advantage with a solid state amp is uh, yeah it's nice you, you can easily change the sound to how you want it so there's a lot of new technology coming out now that you can emulate different sounds quite easily with a solid state amp um, and you can plug uh, effects in quite easily. Um, most of the time a solid state amp will come with uh, onboard effects as well. So um, with the, the Marshall here, it's got some digital effects built in uh, which is a quite a cool little feature um, and the majority of solid state amps have that. Whereas valve amps, um, they're very basic in their layout, but valve amps are really warm and the tone is just amazing. Um, I, I personally love the tone on valve amps. Uh, they're, they're really warm and uh, when you're playing through a valve amp, you can uh, really just feel that tone and that, uh, and that sound come through. Valve amps are really, um, have been the main amp for uh, rock and rollers, for most guitar, uh, professional guitarists for years. Um, valve amps were the first type of guitar amp to be built, so there's a lot of history there as well. Um, so yeah, the, the amps yeah, produce that nice warm tone, um, they sound great. The downside is with a valve amp, they're really heavy. Um, so uh, the newer technology coming out is making them lighter than they, what they used to be, but valve amps are typically quite heavy. Uh, valve amps also uh, require ongoing maintenance, so the tone does change after as they as the valves get older. So you need to keep um, maintaining those valves quite quite regularly. Whereas the solid state amps, they sound the same when you uh, when you first took it out the shop twenty years later. Uh, this thing is uh, 15, 16 years old now, and it still sounds the same from the day I got it. Um, and that's been thrown off the back of trucks um, and whatever else too, so it's taken a real bashing. Whereas if I did the same with a valve amp, um, yeah, sorry, but that she'll be gone. Um, so she wouldn't work as well as she used to. So um, yeah, that's pure, valves are, valve amps are more, um, fragile in that sense. So uh, an amplifier usually has two channels. It's normally got a nice clean channel and it's normally got an overdrive channel as well or a distortion channel um, depending on the type of the type of amp it is. So um, we're going to get a close up here. So we're just going down onto the Egnator at the moment. So we've got the clean channel here and if I cl click the channel select we we'll now go over to our channel 2 which is the distortion. So um, that's a really cool feature to have, we'll do a bit of an example uh, later on in the video. So on, on most amps this is the ideal sort of setting that you want. You want to be able to control your gain, you want to be able to control the input your guitar has into the with the preamp and then you Ideally, you want to be able to control your bass, your middle, and your treble um, tones. So that will give you total control over your sound of uh, your guitar through the amp. Now, um, if we go over to the Marshall here, um, since this is a, a solid state amp, 
but it's a bit more of a budget entry level amp and you've only got uh, a bass and treble controls. Um, so you can see here that um, I've wound the treble right off and boosted the bass up. That's just to, to cut down on the brightness of this amp. Um, it's really bright. And then the, we've only got an input volume here or an overall volume um, of this clean channel. Uh, if we go over to the distortion channel on this particular amp, we've got gain, we've got our input gain, we've got our volume, we've got bass and treble, and then we've also got a contour, which is more of a tone knob um, as well. And like I said before, since it's solid state, it's got some digital effects built in. Cool. So the other thing to look out for when choosing your amp is whether you want to go combo or head. So the combo is exactly what it is, uh, what the name says. It's got the amp and the speaker enclosed in the one unit. That makes it easy to move in and move out of your, your gigs, um, or it save, and it saves some space because um, when you've got it in your practice room, uh, because yeah, it doesn't take up too much area. Whereas, um, yeah, your, the other option is having a head and a speaker box. So uh, you've got your amp, and you, need, you can put on whatever type of speaker. So you can mix and match, uh, which can be a really cool thing depending on what sort of sound you're going for. Um, I know there's some, uh, some guitarist out there who um, has a Celestian uh, speaker rig and then uh, the same amp also goes into an Eminence uh, speaker rig. Um, and that gets two different tones. So depending on what song he has, he, um, he pushes an AB pedal to yeah go through uh, whichever amp he wants for that sound because the speakers will produce a different tone. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty cool in itself. Um, gives you a little bit of options. Um, so yeah, but the only downside I find in having an amp and a speaker cab is yeah, you need to do a couple more loads going into a gig. Uh, that's probably the only downside. So now what we're gonna look at uh, with is, um, yeah, the wattage of, uh, of amps. So overall, there is so many different wattages of amps. You can go from five watt right up to a hundred watt um, or, or plus. So, and depending on your situation um, will depend on what sort of amp you go for. I personally recommend 30 watts. It's a great all-round tone, uh, all-round wattage uh, because it, it's not too soft that um, uh, it's, it's not too soft that you can't um, hear on stage. It's quite quite loud on stage still, and it's not too loud for your bedroom. So you can dial down the uh, dial down the volume without compromising tone, um, which is basically what you what you want on an amp is going for your tone. So um, yeah, if especially on solid state amps, if you go anything lower than thirty watts, um, it, it just it doesn't reproduce that sound that you want. Whereas um, with valve amps, if you go a hundred watt valve amp you won't get it off of number one, or the volume off of one, um, for the whole the whole gig, or even in your bedroom, you won't even be able to turn it on, it'll be that loud. So, yeah, really uh, investigate into um, where you wanna go for. Uh, 30 watts is good as well, because um, if you're on stage, you don't need that 100 watts. You're gonna have a mic in front of your amp anyway. Uh, most rockers these days, if they've got a, a martial wall on stage, they're just they're just pictures of of amps of, of speaker boxes. They've most of the time they've got a little combo behind all that with a mic in front of it. So you don't you don't need a, a big um, a big sound from your amp any these days because you're going to be mic'd up. Um, so yeah, now we're going to have a bit of a listen to the different. Tone. So I've got my Ibanez here um, and we're going to have a listen to 